Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Vince and on today's video we will be talking about how to create folders of apps inside of your iOS device. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is if you touch anywhere on your screen and hold down until you get into the edit mode of the apps, you will notice this by the apps jiggling or moving around and also have the delete key over each icon. What this will do is this will enable us to move the apps around on your screen. So as you can see here, I can move the Minecraft app around. And what I want to do is if you have multiple apps that you're wanting to combine into one folder, if you drag and drop one on top of the other, what you will see is it looks like it's starting to go into it. And then it will actually create the folder for you with both of these apps inside of it. And it will predetermine a title up top trying to correspond with the apps that you've selected to be inside of the folder. But of course you can change this to anything that you want. Games works for me, so I will leave it as such. And if you touch anywhere off screen, it will lock them back into place. And what you will notice now is that you have a folder titled games with both of these apps inside of it. Inside of a folder, you have up to nine icons or nine apps listed before it can actually create a second page. Once the folder contains more than nine apps, it will actually go ahead and create a second page of the additional apps and you can slide through them just as you would sliding through multiple pages on your actual iOS device. If you choose that you no longer want apps inside of a particular folder, if you go into the folder and select anywhere to edit the home screen, if you drag one of the apps outside of the folder, you will notice that it leaves the remaining app inside. And then whenever you remove the final app outside of the folder, you will notice that the entire folder is deleted. And that's it. Hopefully this helps understand how to create and manage folders of your apps inside of your iOS device. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.